Hey, I know this is not exactly how your calculator looks. You're like, it has no screen. Okay, uh, to the right is what the screen looks like, and then down here is uh, my key press history. So look, the big thing for a lot of people unfamiliar with the programs on a calculator, to access them, we're going to press this program key right here. It says PRGM. I'm going to click on there. And then you might have a long list of programs. I just cleaned it up so it just shows the quad program. And since it's 80s technology, you've got to press enter twice. I know, man, forgive me. So let's say we had an example of like 1x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So I'm going to enter 1 for A and then 5 for B and then 6 for C. Now here's the cool beans part. It gives you the uh, two answers. X1 is negative 2, X2 is negative 3. And then if you had done it using like the negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A, this is what it's going to look like. Negative 5 plus or minus 1 over 2. Really awesome there, especially if you have a nasty discriminant. And you might say, hey man, I want to know what that looks like. So I'm going to press enter twice or actually just once to rerun it. Let's say um, A is 1, um, B is 0, and C is 72. So let's just say it's X squared plus 72 equals 0. Um, check this out, X1 and X2. If you showed this on a test, your teacher's like, Johnny just used a calculator here. I'm not going to give him full credit. But then if you wrote, oh, 0 plus or minus 6i rad 2, teacher's like, oh, he used the discriminant in everything. This is wonderful. So you want to use this version, the 0 plus or minus 6i rad 2. That's what's really the killer version of this program or the killer app of this program is it gives you imaginary roots and it even gives it to you how it would look using negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, the quadratic formula. Okay, good luck guys and I hope it works well for you.